Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Sagittarius Sun, Moon and Rising monthly tarot reading for July 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and uh, we will jump uh, straight away to the, uh, to the reading. All right, so uh, the first card, which uh, stands for the topic of the month for Sagittarius, that is going to be uh, the Hierophant, <clears throat> followed by the second one, which stands for the uh, peripheral activities that any Sagittarius could decide to go for or they can completely pass. So it's completely conditional card. That will be uh, the Ten of Wands, <clears throat> followed by the third card, which stands for the Challenge. Uh, that Sagittarius are going to face throughout the month that and have to overcome as well, you know, that is going to be the um, the Empress. Followed by the fourth card here, which stands for the positive aspect that the month um, has for them, you know, or the positive, yeah, the positive activity is there, or the positivity. Uh, that will be the star card. <clears throat> and the last one uh, we do have as the guidance, which is the six of pentacles. Uh, so, once again, let's go through the cards. The first one is going to be the Hierophant, followed by the second one, which is the Ten of Wands. Afterwards, we do have a third card, which stands for the challenges here. That is going to be the Empress. Then uh, it is the um, <clears throat> positive aspect of the month. That will be the Star card. And finally, what we have here, uh, it's going to be the Guidance. And this is to be the Six of Pentacles. So Sagittarius, this month is going to be somewhat a very smooth, peaceful and calm. As a matter of fact, it's going to be a month where, I don't know, how do I describe it? But <clears throat> not, nothing extraordinary or out of ordinary is to happen as well. So it's going to be perfectly, perfectly normal uh, month for you. However, <clears throat> With uh, the very topic here, we do have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant for you guys, it does signify that throughout the month, as the month goes rather very smoothly, you know, without any tantrums and turmoils, you are also going to be taught and counseled by someone who is um, in a much more evaluated state than you are. So no different than, for example, you want to be successful into a particular business, you just don't know how, and uh, you kind of like get introduced to a person who is very successful into that business that you want to be successful. And so that person starts teaching you or counseling you, you know, how you can become a, a successful into the business itself. So it's more like, you know, divulging on a, on a secret how one to be better into what one wants to be. Um, <clears throat> that being said, the, the month itself is going to be, uh, well, yeah, the month itself is going to be a month where you are to receive a, um, a benevolent support into a growing and developing a 
a certain agenda of yours. Now, one more important thing about the Hierophant is that should you carry on a, a baffling circumstances from the uh, from the past month or maybe from the past as well, you know, uh, questions that you do have which are simply doesn't have any resolution and up until that moment, with the Hierophant, it is, very imp it is very likely that you are to find a resolution to those problems and that resolution is going to reside in already existing framework of the problem, okay? So you don't have to uncover something new it is just a thing that you haven't thought until this this moment but it was on the tip of your nose the accompanied card of the hierophant is going to be the two of pentacles <coughs> and through these consultations and um, divulging of secrets it is very likely that you are to readopt your standpoint in a sense of that to for example realize that what you are doing or what, the, the way that you are trying to proceed on up until that moment, it is either a futile or it's, it's way too difficult, you know, than it has to be. So you can expect to change your strategy throughout the month, you know, or to change your positions as well. And in generally to readopt your plans a lot for the distant future or for how you to reach your goal uh, because the disinformation or consultation you know sharing of an information uh, is going to open your eyes for a much more easier way you know how to be successful into your career for example or how to achieve good marriage you know or these kind of uh, these kind of stuff so that leads us to the next card which stands for the uh, peripheral activities and that will be the 10 of wands. Now, like I said, the, the month apart from these consultations, deliberations, you know, and sharing of an information of a recipe of, 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 of success here, activity wise is going to be very calm and peaceful, all right? So you can use that time for calm and peace to attend to the more of a choring part of your life, like these chores that you are constantly postponing for, you know, for indefinite amounts of time, for the reason being that they are a lot of, uh, that they are quite of their time consuming. Let's say that you have planned to reanuvate your home, you know, and that, that, that was planned, let's say a half an year ago, but you couldn't find the time to do it. Well, now you do have the time to do it in the month of July. It is just, however, up to you as a peripheral activity, as a conditional card, it's entirely up to you to mobilize yourself and do it. Because once you start doing those time consuming chores of peripheral activities, it, it will be very difficult to detach, you know, and when you start, it will be important that you determine yourself to, um, to finish it, you know, as you start to finish it, do not leave anything halfway, um, <clears throat> halfway finished. The accompanied card here is going to be uh, the justice and the formation. It is a active uh, friends that we do have. So uh, definitely we're talking about chores and with the justice, before you attend to any chore of those, these time consuming peripheral endeavors, it will be best if you sit down for a couple of days, you know, or maybe for one afternoon and make yourself a to-go list just so you don't lose yourself and scatter, scatter yourself among all of those chores and finding yourself at the end of the month, you know, not being able to finalize neither of these. So <clears throat> with the justice here, while it is good, you know, to, uh, to take these things out of your way, uh, in the same time, it will be best if you make a better time management, okay? So, uh, and with the justice, you should prioritize the little chores in front of the bigger chores. So do not jump straight away to this tremendous um, tremendous effort and kind of endeavor right but just start bit by bit from the smallest uh, from the smallest in there uh, the next card stands for the uh, challenges which is related to the um, to the topic and as we said about the topic is that these consultations and these this new kind of information and teachings that you are to receive uh, are going to uh, are going are going to force you or not exactly force you but urge you 
to readopt your plan, how you're dealing, you know, with your career endeavors or with your marriage or relationship endeavors and etc. etc. And this is where the challenge really lies uh, here is to take the matter seriously. That is the first thing. And second of all is that it seems with the Empress that this information that you're going to get is going to be a lot to swallow first. It's going to be mind blowing. OK. And uh, I Again, it will be best if you take a bit of time to uh, digest all of that <clears throat> and to make an appropriate decisions how you are to readopt your uh, readopt your strategy and how to readopt you know your future moves toward uh, toward the matter at hand. Uh, because uh, with the Empress, it's very important to be acknowledged that whatever you sown, it is what you're gonna reap either good or bad so it's it will be best if you approach uh the matters which the information gives you with a, a great amount of of maturity and sense of emergency as well the accompanied card here is going to be the four of pentacles and we are talking about here a stab or kind of like securing well working toward a secured secured future okay and as well, adopting a, a defensive standpoint is very difficult to describe it. Mm. So I would try to say it that way. So you, throughout the month of July, you suddenly meet someone or read something or find out something, you know, that divulges you this information, okay? Uh, which completely blows your mind and makes you to readopt your plans and strategies. So as you do so, uh, the challenging is going to be, um, the challenge itself is going to be here with the Empress and the Four of Pentacles to make it in a, such a way so you can ensure its steady, um, steady performance. So there are going to be a lot of things for you to think about and a lot of things to um, deliberate on and figure out how to do before you actually can make a any kind of uh, initiation moving forward which is kind of like a good thing guys because as we said the month is going to be rather peaceful so no pressure whatsoever is going to be exerted upon you and if you feel that you are pushed to act that is that is you doing it so i mean with these cards it doesn't look like that you are that you are obliged to do anything uh, throughout the month especially if it, if it is something that you don't want to do at all so the next card that we go to, it's going to be the positive aspect and that will be the star card. And as we all know, the star promises hope. It gives you a, a point, a fulcrum uh, to, to hang on into. So it, 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 it is like it promises you, well, how can I describe it? The star refers to a, a long-term goal, which is actually achievable. And uh, how can I describe it? it this long-term goal gives you hope and it, and, and it marks ending of an era of a turmoil. It's always about that when the star card comes around, especially in a positive position, it marks ending of an era of a turmoil. And it's time to plan big, all right? So that's why it is another reason, uh, it, this is another reason why it's important to take your time to deliberate upon these new information, consultations, teachings, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, because the, the, uh, taking your time to make the future moves and future decisions based on this um, on this information uh, is going to allow you to proceed as painlessly as possible here toward that goal that star promises you. The accompanied card is going to be the world, and uh, with the well, the formation it is a uh, active enemies. So now we could talk about resuscitating a situation, like reviving something. But it's, it's something that have been either a long time forgotten or it was, a, it was not forgotten but was lingering for a long time and you couldn't do anything about it, let's say for a year or for a couple of years. And now, you know, through that information, you do actually have a way how you can bring that situation back to life with the world card basically what these cards is point uh, are saying is that you should not give up hope because it's not over yet it is literally the message from these couple of cards it is not over yet with these uh, active um, 
active enemies and not just it's not over all right but actually the the outcome looks rather very very positive okay it looks very beneficial and it looks very optimistic as well it's a long term however all right you cannot expect that that thing is to happen overnight so um i don't want to plant any um felicious seeds and gives you false hopes but uh, it could be that you know uh, you are for example trying to be a certain uh, to chase a certain career path but the life made you so you know to never be in a, such a career path and you're trying to figure out how to do so and that thing is on how is on how to, you know for a couple of years and now you do have the information necessary to make a moves in order to you know make it real make it reality same thing could go for a relationship as well the thing here with these couple of cards guys is that you should not give up on your dreams and on your hopes because they can very well become clear uh, real excuse me and that is to happen based on these consultations and teachings as well that you are to receive throughout the month of July. And the final card is the guidance here, which is the Six of Pentacles. So uh, it's a very sound advice with the Six of Pentacles. You need to know that as you do have, you, you will, throughout the month, you are to receive only the half portion of the ingredients of your success, right? So you do receive the way uh, or how you should make your way forward. But making your way forward, it is entirely up to you. So even though you have the information, it will, it will require you to act upon it. So it's completely conditional months at the end of the day. So <clears throat> to give you an example, let's say that uh, you like a girl or you like a guy, okay? And you have been consulted or you have been as well, you know, teach by a friend of yours uh, how to, uh, how can I place it, what that guy likes or what that girl likes, all right? Uh, what, they, uh, what they expect and how they, uh, how they can be enthralled in general, all right? And that is the information, but you cannot expect that this friend of yours is going to enthrall them for you. So you do have the information how to win that guy or how to win that girl, but you have to act upon it. No one else will be able to do it for you. And this is what the Six of Pentacles points. You receive the help, but this help is not going to serve that um, that achievement on a platter for you. I mean, you have to, from that help of an information, you need to, um, you need to basically win it for yourself or kind of like fight for it um, on your own. The accompanied card is going to be the Knight of Swords. And the formation here, it is a passive enemies that we do have. So with the Knight of Swords, um, how can I describe it? It's, um, it's a bit discouraging really that we do have um, here. So yeah, it's gonna be a frightening thing. How can I? Well, the fact that you do have, you know, the information or the recipe of how to make your dream come true, you know, it's not gonna make, it's not gonna be enough to boost your courage to do it. So, and uh, with uh, with these cards, and in order for you to boost your courage, it will require a self belief. And um, as well, it will require determination that one should be um, ready to do whatever it takes as well. Because with the night here, some of the things that you have to do based on this information, maybe are going a bit out of the way that you are used to do things in general. And as I said, you know, uh, you are to be divulged the recipe of, the, of success, but I never said that this recipe is going to like like I said, you know, give that success on a platter. It is just, you know, it, it will tell you what you need to do. Are you having the guts and the courage to do it? Well, that's entirely up to you guys. So uh, that being said, Sagittarius, this was your monthly tarot reading, guys. Uh, just be on a watch out, open up your ears for what these people or that person is to tell you and to consult you as well. 
uh, do not get discouraged straight away if it is something that seems it's beyond your capabilities, all right? But take your time to think about it. And uh, ultimately, at the end, you may find out that it is not as uh, as difficult as it seems, you know? Because it may not be uh, that different. For example, you need you want to open your own Facebook, all right? And you end up uh, having a... Um, having a meeting or, you know, you just hang out with the owner of the Facebook and he just tells you how he made it, all right? And you say, oh my God, I will never be able to do it. Yes, you can, you know, it's just you need to take up your time to think it thoroughly and to believe in yourself. So, uh, yeah, that being said, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for July 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then. Bye.